Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Charles Nator, tutorial time, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool looking rip effect, as you saw in my uh, second to latest speed art called Ripped. Um, this is something I'm planning to do in the future, which is kind of do tutorials um, based on my latest speed arts, because most likely that's the kind of things you're going to be wanting to see. And I've almost got through all of the kind of tool tutorials I was planning on doing, like the uh, gradient maps and clipping masks and stuff. So from now on it'll probably be more kind of things like this, more effects, kind of more specific effects, which you can either replicate exactly the same or you can just take bits from and improve yourself. So we're going to be starting with this uh, image. It doesn't have to be a person, but this one I think looks cool with rips in his chest. And I'm going to make a new layer and grab my a polygonal marquee tool which is the third one down and then the second option. You can use the pen tool or I suppose you could use the brush tool if you really want to but I, I prefer this one. It's just my preference and then we're going to make the rip um, nice and jagged at the edges. Not too big though. And then once we've done that we might want to add a few more bits around the edges. So holding down shift you can add to the selection just going to add a, bit, a few more jagged bits around the edge, like so. And then we're going to fill that with black. So just get black, get your paint bucket tool and fill it. Then Control command d to deselect it. As you can see, you can see kind of the rip um, shape, but it doesn't actually look like a rip yet. So first what you want to do is this layer you want to turn the opacity down to about 50. We can go in and edit this later but 50 is a good starting point and then you want to duplicate this layer so just click and drag it down to the new layer and it will make a copy of it and on this second layer you want to go up to the opacity and fill options turn the opacity back up to 100% until the fill down to 0% just to go over that again first layer is 50, 100, second layer is 100, 0 and basically, if you've never been at, gone into the fill options before, um, played about with the fill percentage, basically the fill is how much the layer is filled, as as the name suggests. But it still keeps on all of the effects. So if you went up to layer, layer style, added any of these effects, you'd still be able to see them, but you won't be able to see, in this case, you won't be able to see the black bit, but you'll be able to see the effects around it. So as I'm hiding and unhiding this layer, as you can see, it makes no difference because the fill is on zero and I haven't added any, add, added any effects yet. So we're going to go up to layer, layer style, bevel emboss on this top layer. And then we are going to play about with the bevel emboss. Make sure the style is set to outer bevel. Haven't really used outer bevel that much before, maybe you haven't either. Basically, inner bevel is inside the kind of edges of the shape and outer bevel is going outside of the sh edges of the shape. And outer bevel works best because obviously in this case we want the shape to look kind of hollow and if you're using inner bevel it makes it look the opposite of hollow if you get what I mean. So out we're going to set to outer bevel, we're going to set the size to maybe about 4 and then we can just play about with these sliders at the bottom making sure the lightness is quite light, kind of match it to these areas which I'll make it look similar to that and the dark areas we could leave it at zero and I'm going to leave it pretty low because that kind of ruins the effect if you have it too dark at the bottom so once we've done that as you can see we have a rip now you can leave it there if you want if you just want a simple rip like that and it looks pretty cool or if you want to take it to the next level you can add some other cool stuff in. Let's say you wanted to make it look more realistic and have some um, stuff inside the rip. You would go, let me get this right, there we go in the middle. Um, you'd go, you'd make a new layer on top of everything else. Or I suppose you could put it in between the two. I'm just going to keep it on top. And then let's just draw on some random stuff like so and then maybe add a few bones <laughs> that look pretty cool 
Not that light though, let's undo that. And yes, sorry about this, just messing about. And then once you've done that, you want to make a selection of one of the layers. So you're going to go Control or Command and then click the box of either of them. Obviously, they're the same, so whichever one you click, it will work. You'll get the selection of that, and then you want to go Select, Inverse to get the opposite, and then press Backspace or Delete and that will delete everything outside of the region. Now you can play about the blending mode of this if you want. I think I'm just going to lower the opacity like so. And then I could actually, if I, I just had a thought, if I put that in the middle of the two and then on this top layer I add in a in a shadow I'll give it a much nicer effect. So if I make sure that it's going in the right direction that I want it to, kind of downwards roughly, then like that. As you can see, that makes it look kind of deeper. If you get what I mean. And let's make the dis make the size four, and play about with the opacity, like so. So that looks pretty cool. Looks like more realistic rip in his chest. And so there, that's if you want to make it look like there's things inside, you just paint over it, select it, inverse it, delete it, and it looks like it's inside the rip. But if you want stuff coming out of the rip, in this case, I'm going to use this abstract render. Um, just selected this one at random, hopefully, it's going to look good. So I'm going to control A, control C. Go back to the design, control V it. Um, I'm just going to get rid of what we just did and then set this to lighten, maybe, maybe color dodge, linear dodge, add something like that. And we're just going to look for some areas which could look cool if they're coming out of his chest. I think that looks all right. And then we're going to zoom in, turn the opacity down just so we can see the rip behind it. And then we are going to make a selection around the rip, which is choosing the areas which we don't want to be able to see. Delete those. And then zoom out. And we can put the opacity back up to full and get rid of all these areas around the edge. Just using the eraser tool or I suppose you could select the bit you want and then inverse it and delete it. There we go, just going to go in there and neaten some of these bits up if I zoom the right way. Just using the eraser tool, make it a bit smaller. Get rid of these edges, this random bit over here. And then just erase some of the bits inside the rip to make it look like it's actually coming out. And that looks pretty cool. So we could, I think we have to keep it on that. We could play about the opacity if we wanted to. Maybe just add a few bits of green, extra bits of green coming out. Just to give it a, bit, a few more colors coming out of there. Like so. So as you can see, I did that very quickly. Doesn't look the best, but you get the idea. That's how you make a simple looking rip, either with things coming out of it or with things kind of inside it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Keep sub keep um, watching my videos to be up to date with all my latest stuff. Um, GFX News obviously will be on Saturday night. Hopefully nothing will come up. I doubt it will. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much for watching.